Hello, viewers from across the internet, whether your brain is made out of neurons or transistors. Welcome back to the Matt Vid Pro AI channel. We have a lot to talk about today. Lots of exciting things have been going on. This is basically your AI news update for the week. We're starting out with OpenAI. OpenAI has released a brand new AI, and there is a demo that you can try and actually use this AI for, which is very interesting. It's called Whisper. As you can see here, this is their index of blogs. And right up at the top here, after outpainting, we have Whisper. So what is Whisper, you might ask? They've trained and are open sourcing, so OpenAI actually being open for once, they're making something open source, a neural net called Whisper that approaches human level robustness and accuracy on English speak recognition. So yeah, you know when you try to use voice text on your iPhone or whatever, your Android phone, and it's not really picking up your voice as well, it's mishearing what you're saying? Well, this is that same technology, but more accurate, actually using a neural network to do speech recognition, which could be very useful. You could put it in, if it's going to be open source, you could easily put it in something like a phone. I bet a lot of Android phones would go off and try to use this. I don't see why they wouldn't, or a lot of other applications that use text to speech. And so far from the tests, it looks like it is very good. So we've got some different examples here. Speed talking, K-pop, French, and accent. So we'll just listen to this speed talking one real quick. This is the Micro Machine Man presenting the most midget miniature motorcade of Micro Machine. Each one has dramatic details, terrific trim. So obviously this is some sort of an advertisement. The guy is talking really fast like they do in ads. And to reveal the transcript here, obviously this is a perfect transcript of the entire... Uh, example for speed talking. You can also do uh, an accent one as well. One of the most famous landmarks on the borders, it's three hills. And the myth is that Merlin, the magician, split one hill into three and it left the two hills at the back of a switcher. Wow, so yeah, that is a very, very thick accent there. I was having trouble understanding that. And the Whisper AI does a fantastic job at transcribing this. And we don't really know how fast it works, although I do believe they have a demo we can try out and of course they get into a little bit more of the complexities here i'm not really going to get too deep into this but they basically show how the entire token system and transcription works for the model and what's really nice is that they are able to transcribe speech that is from other languages into English, which is really, really cool as well. You know, one day I do believe with technology similar to this, we're going to have automatic things where you just put something on your ear real quick. Someone speaks to you in another language, automatically translates it to your language and vice versa. So people can just communicate with each other, even if they don't speak the same language. Okay. So it looks like if you go to the GitHub here, they do have a collab example. So if you guys want to give this a shot right here and actually try to run this, I will link it down below. This won't understand thick accents. Like if you speak very clearly, it's going to pick up exactly what you're saying, but thick accents, speed talking, stuff like that, your phone is never going to pick up on. So this is some serious advancement in this field. And the, especially the translation stuff that gets me extremely excited. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments below. I am interested to hear your opinions. Anyways, so yeah, that is Whisper. Next level transcription. Moving on to Dream Studio. This actually happened a little bit over a day ago or so, but now we actually have a full editing system here in the Dream Studio, which of course is the open source Stable Diffusion. The Dream Studio website is made by Stable Diffusion's creators. So yeah, this website now has a full editor, very similar to the Dolly 2 one, which, you know, Dolly 2 called it the outpainting, but it is just an overhauled editing system where you can do in-painting and out-painting at the same time. So yes, Dream Studio now has this. Not only can we do stuff like image to image, which Dolly kind of can do, which, I mean, I would consider their image to image as variations, but it's it's not really the same as Dream Studios here where their image to image is like you can draw like a little picture and it will convert that picture into a real photo, for example. At any rate, here we are inside the editor. If I go down here to the bottom corner and click on show editor, this is where it brings up the editing system here. So let's give this a little test shot here. It says upload an image to start. 
What's interesting is you can't generate an image actually. For example, I'll just generate the test prompt here. So if I click show editor, it deletes that image that I just generated. So if I wanted to, you know, do any in painting or out painting with that image I just made, I'd have to download it first to my computer. Let's do a little bit of testing here. So we've uploaded this Dolly 2 creation that I have and I want to edit it. So we've got some different stuff. We've got a select and move button. So that allows me to drag around and move this. This is very similar to the Dolly 2 out painting editor. I can scale this up and down and, you know, adjust the size of it. So like this, and obviously we're working with a five by 12 by five by 12 grid here, but I'm actually just going to center it right here. And we've also got a masking. So this is of course like your in painting brush. We've got a few different stuff. We've got blur in size, which is nice because we don't have options like this with Dolly 2. We've got strength and image opacity, for example. So yeah, I can just start, you know, erasing it. Let's say I wanted to give this lemon guy some legs, you know, maybe, maybe we can give him some legs. And you can see the blur around the image as well. So this could allow for some very, very advanced in painting and out painting scenarios. You know, it gives you a lot of stuff to go off of. We've also got the restore option. So Dolly, I really wish I had a feature like this. This allows me to restore any parts of the original image that I might have erased. And of course we have the same brush sizes that we can mess around with for that setting as well. But we're just gonna do this. See if we can't give this lemon some legs here. Obviously we've got our prompt down at the bottom here. We've also got a guide that you guys can check out for this as well, as well as a complete clear image. So we could just wipe the entire image away if we wanted to. So for the dream option here, I'm just gonna type yellow legs in here. And we'll see if that's going to give us what we're looking for. I'm kind of doubting it right now, but we'll see if we can get some yellow legs out of this guy. And the whole image goes blurry and actually it did actually give us some yellow lemon legs. So it worked out pretty decently, actually. It did something for sure. And of course, every credit, you know, still costs the same amount per generation as it normally would. The pricing isn't different at all for the image out painting. And I can go back in the editor if I want and retry this. We can also do, you know, up to nine images for this. So let's just do that same thing and see if we can't do nine generations for all of them and see if we can't get a nice pair of legs for this character. And there we go. We've got nine variations for this in painting. These are all kind of really crazy looking. I'm not going to lie. This one's pretty funny, but yeah, it's nice. You know, we still have all of these advanced settings to mess around with. So, you know, if you're very skilled and working with this very advanced editor, you can do a lot of different steps, you know, oh, I want this part of the image to have more steps while the rest of it has less steps. And this part has a higher CFG scale, or you could even use different samplers and combine it into a, a whole different image. So this editor now is really letting us do some very advanced stuff with stable diffusion. It really takes it to the next level in a nice interface. And we've also, of course, have the image to image mode where I can type out a new prompt. So a photo of a lemon. Let's see if I can't transform this image into a photorealistic version of it. It definitely changed up the art style a little bit. This is very cool looking though. I do love the stable diffusion image to image. Let's see, let's bump up the number of images and we will get maybe a more decent result. There we go. So we've got a bunch of what essentially is variations. A lot of these are really, really cool though. This one's awesome right here. You can just sort of download your favorites like so. This one is fantastic. Really a fan of this one as well. We're basically in variation mode, but if I really want to say the image, the initial image has less strength, I'll bump that down and maybe we'll get something that more resembles like a photographic image of what we've submitted here. And there we go. We're getting some much, much more varied uh, versions of this. But yeah, as you can see, the editor really has been overhauled. We've still got the basic image to image, which is very powerful, but now we've got full in painting, full out painting, whatever you might want, which is really awesome and is definitely very competitive with Dolly's new editor. And now guys, we've also got a support tab for the Dream Studio beta. So if you want to submit a support ticket, this is also now an option here on the website. In other news, we've also got this rumor that I saw floating around my discord which of course you guys can join with the link in the description below. This is coming soon, Midjourney AI generated art. So we might actually be seeing a legit Midjourney app coming to the app store. As you can see, it says expected October 1st, 2022. So that would be the end of this month. 
And, you know, it's got screenshots and stuff. It says it's by Fantastic Labs, uh, which I don't think that's really what Midjourney is called, although they might be outsourcing the development of the app to another company. We don't really know. This is just a screenshot I saw on my Discord. Take it with a grain of salt, but this could be real. We could be seeing a Midjourney app coming to uh, the App Store, at least the Apple App Store. I'm not sure about the Google Play Store. Very, very exciting stuff. That would be awesome. I would absolutely love to see a nice Midjourney app. It would make it so much easier to generate with Midjourney if we could generate just right inside the app on our phones. In other news, lots of different AI image generation apps have been popping up lately. I actually did cover about nine of them or so on my channel somewhat recently, but this one was also submitted in my Discord as someone said I should make a video on it. But as you can see, it's number 16 in graphics and design here. And I do believe this is fully a stable diffusion generator, but so many of these different image AI generator apps are now popping up on the various app stores, whether it be the Google Play Store or the Apple iPhone Store, and it is just very exciting. So I thought I would mention that AI image generator apps are definitely on the rise. I keep seeing ads for them on Instagram as well. I'm sure you guys have seen those, but finally I'm going to be finishing up here with a little Dolly rumor that has been floating around lately. So again, take this one with a grain of salt, but... Word on the street is that OpenAI wants to start allowing various companies to purchase access to the Dolly API. I've heard this from a few sources around, so hopefully we will start to see stuff like that appear at some point in the future. That would be very, very exciting for other, you know, sites or companies to allow access to the Dolly API and be able to use it for whatever company situation they might want to use it for. So yeah. Very exciting stuff. Let me know what you guys think about the news that you have heard today. I've got some fun stuff coming up in the future. I've actually got sponsored videos coming up that I am extremely excited about. If you've made it this far in the video and are listening to me talk about this, I only do full sponsorship videos about products that I genuinely believe in and I think are good products, and I usually really try to keep it as AI-only products. So I've got two AI product sponsored videos that are coming up in the near future and I am so excited for them because they are both fantastic and they're they're just awesome so yeah those are coming up in the future get excited for those those are two bigger videos coming to this channel so get subscribed check out some of my other videos check out my discord for the latest in AI news and to talk with the AI community and I'll see you guys in the next one thank you for watching